Hi, welcome to uh, Green Goods Products. My name is Michael Robertson. We are in the beautiful Green Goods Products showroom today. And the topic of the conversation is finishes on wood floors. Um, talk a little bit about it. Distinctly, most people think of either you have an oil finished floor or you have a polyurethane finished floor. Uh, the floor I'm bringing up here, a beautiful red birch. This is a classic polyurethane finished floor. As you can see, there's quite a gloss to it. Uh, polyurethane is used primarily because there's little off-gassing and to meet eco-friendly requirements we're looking for a low to VOC um, off-gassing in the product. What they do with polyurethane floors is they actually use a little of uh, aluminum oxide in the finished layer and this gives a very abrasion resistant finish to our product. It's also UV cured in a nine step process that's done in the factory. Um, this gives you a very hard cure. It is commonly confused with so that the floor won't change color in time and that's not why it's used. They use it to cure it harder and to get rid of any off-gassing. So your first finished type of floor is a polyurethane UV cured acrylic product. So it's got an aluminum oxide finish coat for a strong abrasion. Similar product here is the Terragrin. They have the nine step UV cured acrylic with aluminum oxide finish. A little bit less of a gloss, but still fairly glossy. Um, as in to contrast, Terragrin also has Rubio Monaco, which is an oil finish, and the difference you see is a very matte finish. So this is going to be the significant differences between an oil finish and a UV cure acrylic finish is this matte. And that's what people really like. With the matte finish, it's a very natural feel. It's not glossy like you see in some of your laminate floors. A little bit better longevity over time. Um, historically, oil finished floors you had to do once or twice a year. With the new neck technology, it's a little bit of a maintenance touch up whenever you have small blemishes. Some of the other products you can think about is that you can take an acrylic product and you can actually inject it into the material. And this is a bamboo sample that's almost an effervescence kind of feel to it, but they inject the acrylic into the material, creating a much more dense, hard surface. So that's EcoFusion with an acrylic impregnated. Another example of an oil finished floor is by Duchateau. Again, very matte feel, very organic feel. Um, not glossy, won't scratch easily, and that's an oil finish. Now, Kraus floors and some other manufacturers have now come up with a high matte, extremely matte finish. This is, an, this is still an ac acrylic, UV cured acrylic finish, but see how flat the finish is. So they're trying to get the authenticity of an oil finish, a very flat finish, in a UV cured acrylic. So the pros and cons in the UV cured acrylic is you get a high gloss, and if that's a desirable effect, that's what you'll get. But if you do want kind of a more organic, down to earth feel, you're gonna to wanna to go with an oil finish or a high matte finish in UV cured acrylic. The acrylics also show scratches in time that reflect white from the sunlight. Um, the maintenance on UV cured acrylic, once it's scratched, is very hard to maintain versus your oil finishes don't have the scratching and the reflection of the light um, to do to bring the luster back you can use um, the oil just to bring it back and pop the colors again um, and those are the major differences of UV cured acrylic floor and an oil based floor.